Greetings. My name is Ian Yarwood. I'm in Perth, Western Australia. The purpose of this short video is to show that a, an article that appeared in the Samui Times on the 21st of August 2018 has not been discredited by the Koh Tao Police or by an article of the 22nd of August from Koh Sao in English. The Samui Times article is this one here, and I'm just going to direct your attention to a couple of sentences in the article, which uh, initially talks about an alleged rape of a British girl on the Thai island of Koh Tao. And it says that the girl who, for legal reasons, cannot be named, left the island after the horrific assault and attempted to report what happened to the police on Koh Phangan. Koh Phangan is a, an island very close to Koh Tao. The police were happy to make a report of the robbery, but refused to take any details of the rape. So that was what was initially reported. And then the article that appeared in Koh Sao English is this one here. And if we go down the page a little bit, there are a couple of sentences where a police spokesman says, no one has alerted us about it. Koh Tao Deputy Police Chief Napa Senatit said by phone, quote, in these kind of cases, we would have investigated if someone made a report, end quote. Now, obviously, from the first article, the alleged victim did not try to make a report on Koh Tao, but made the report on Koh Phang Yen. So that was, it was the uh, Koh Phang Yen police who uh, should have had the questions directed to them. It's also worth noting that the previous year there was another article about on Co uh, South English about the death of a Belgian tourist by the name of Elise Dallemagna. This is the article here. I will have links to all of these articles below so you can check everything out. And this is what she looked like. The interesting thing is that the story kept changing from the Thai police. I'll just pick the story up from here. It says the incident was not reported to the media at the time. Colonel Preacher said this in a standard, this is a standard procedure through uh, police usually publicize serious crimes through the media. And then it goes on and it says, when a reporter reached out to Koh Tao police on Wednesday, two officers denied knowledge of the tourist death. Quote, I don't remember any Belgians, end quote, Lieutenant General Napa Senatip said. He's the same fellow who was quoted in the other article. Another officer said he had not seen any case with the name Elise Dalla Magna and added that police do not always open investigations into foreigners' death on the island. He also accused the media of portraying Koh Tao in a negative light. Quote, sometimes people just die on Koh Tao without an investigation because sometimes people just die, end quote. Lieutenant Colonel uh, Chok Chai Sutimek said. That said, the media should stop portraying Koh Tao as an island of death because that's unethical journalism. The interesting thing, of course, is that at least Della Magna had been found on the ground partially eaten by monitor lizards, and one would have imagined that that's not the sort of incident that could easily be forgotten. Ultimately, of course, the police did acknowledge that she was found on Koh Tao, but then they said, oh, well, hang on, no, she was found hanging, whereas the best evidence we have is that she was actually found on the ground, wrapped in old T-shirts and cotton with a fuel bottle next to her. Well, thank you for listening. This is just to demonstrate that the Samui Times article has not been discredited by the Koh Tao Police and it's not been discredited by the Koh Sao English article. Thank you for watching until the end and please check the links which I will put down below. Bye for now.